Hey everyone, um, I pretty much just came here to inform you all of something, and I really request you share this video and uh, the tweets Foxy made a few days ago. I think it was on the 7th of July. Um, go share them around. Uh, this is something I think deserves to be public. Uh, so. Yeah, you could go and read this whole conversation yourself on my Discord server. Uh, the link will probably be in the description, so go check that out. Um, but what I do request you guys do is, uh, as I said, share, and down below in the comments, tell me what your thoughts on this whole situation are. So let me know. And uh, yeah, So a few days ago, out of nowhere, I think it was like 8.30, uh, I get... I'm, I'm getting pinged in my Discord uh, because I hear people talking and it's about something Foxy was talking about. Foxy's in there and he's like, uh, he, he directed this at someone. He said, you aren't being unbanned from Miner's Haven Genesis, Browser Games Discord, or Miner's Haven. Um, you deserve it, especially after you want to keep acting like a victim when you violated Roblox TOS by using assets from the data mine. So apparently this one guy, uh, I think his name was Monkey. Uh, he, he had several accounts, one was never gonna give you up, one was like monkeys, and then something like that. So, I don't know. But, either way, he data mined a miner's haven and publicized the files. So everyone got these items that weren't in, uh, that weren't in the open source. So these were items like Lord of the Haven Shrine and all that stuff. And he got away with it, besides a ban in the game. He got away with it for every other reason you could think of. Also, sorry for lack of content. Um, I have been playing Destiny with my wonderful friends and working on the Time Machine update. Um, I've just been super busy, so I haven't had time to upload and there hasn't been anything upload worthy until this. And I'm planning to upload this a few days ago, but I, I just got too caught up in work stuff. Um, but you know, I, I guess it's fine. I'll be uploading again shortly, so uh, I don't know. We'll see where things go, and I might do some IRL content with my friends, so let me know if that's something you're interested in. Okay, so it seems like someone did that and then completely got away with it, and then he goes on to blame Bereza. Um, I'm talking about Foxy blaming Brezza. Foxy said, Brezza won't do anything about people like you in the modding community, so I'll just ban them from the main game if he doesn't do anything, and I won't be appealing either. So, he's permanently banning them from the game and discords, uh, because Brezza won't do anything uh, about it himself. Although Brezza could get those accounts banned and really take action, but Brezza's just not. Um, it's, it's seeming like is defending Modded Havens way more than he should be, too. Um, I remember some allegations with data mining. I, I think it was MH Plus that had those. Uh, I don't know if this is correct, but those got removed either way. But Preza did nothing about it. Um, uh, then he said these were some good points. It's honestly frustrating as hell. If Reza didn't make the open source, Talon and I would have so many less problems. Uh, same with the submitter. Same with the submitters having a stress about people stealing their things, using them in modded games without permission. Then modded devs act like assholes towards submitters who can't, who say they can't use their items. Reza is making heaven login developers not good developers. Time Machine is probably one of the modded games I feel is respectable because they do, they don't do other things that push people up. Uh, Talon and I care about Miner's Haven, and I personally am sick and tired of people pushing us around. I'm tired of the modded community's interests being put above the interests of Talon and I, and the submitters who make these items for the updates. Uh, without submitters, Miner's Haven would be nothing. Ignoring their interests is the dumbest thing possible. So he made some good points there. He was talking about how it's all the items built, uh, the item builders, um, that make these updates possible in the first place. And they're just being violated and abused by these data miners and stuff, and it's wrong. Uh, 
the the statement Bros is making heaven log heaven login developers not good developers is very true in my opinion now I like Brezza, I like what he's done uh, to help me on Time Machine, and what he's done just in general for the game, but I do not agree with this whole standing up for every modded developer out there. I think that action needs to be taken when it needs to, and there really isn't any other workaround for that. Uh, this is me talking, by the way, this isn't anything Foxy's saying, this is just how I feel about it. Um, if you guys don't know who Heaven Logan is, he stole the Trade of Tron from Azure Mines a few years back. Um, hold on, I'm just thinking something. Without submitters, minor saving would be nothing. That's really true. Um, then he talked about how he wants to draw new players when their sacrifice comes out. Uh, before we do that, Minded Haven. Uh, we have we need to deal with before we do that We need to deal with the modern haven games who break Roblox 2 as and violate the license because no matter what talent and I do the open source is just going to keep making Minus Haven look like a joke uh, The more it's being abused and neglected so he, He's got some points He's saying it would have just been better if the open source never happened at all and how if Visteria got data mined and people were selling shit from Visteria Bresta would actually do something about it Excuse me, by the way, I burped. Um, it's just... It's it's horrible. And uh, now that I got Foxy's situation for it out of the way, I, I feel like putting in my own uh, words, coming from someone who is a modded developer, I don't condone work like this. I feel working from the ground up and taking nothing and taking it or taking so, taking something from nothing if that's the right term i don't know i know building something from nothing that's the way to do it um don't take anything just start from the ground up learn to instead of taking it learn to make it it's just so much better especially if it's your own work it, you're not gonna gain anything from just stealing someone else's game and trying to make it look like yours we will know immediately it's not yours it's not like you're gonna even remotely get away with it unless the person hasn't played miners haven before which i highly doubt that they'd be playing the modded versions or if they're just inactive as hell on the main game because i know that's what a lot of the miners haven plus players do they tend to stay away from Minor 7 uh, and just play Minor 7 Plus, which is perfectly fine. But, let's just say, um, Minor 7 Plus had a Danny mining issue, then I think there'd be some people that wouldn't know. Um, not saying that there are, but just saying if it was to happen, I don't think everyone would immediately know, oh, hey, that's data mine. Um, I have personally no data mined things in my game. Everything currently in there is done from scratch, and we have um, we have spent thousands of hours working on our game. And I would even say that I could promise you my game has been stolen once or twice, maybe now. I probably haven't found them, but it, I I just feel that somewhere out there, yeah, it's been stolen. Now, the main issue with this is that well you know it's so just easy to get away with it too like no nobody's taking any action on these people besides foxy and talon they can only do so much and this needs to change really in fact this has kind of needed a change for months now I don't agree with the dude who also stole Foxy's map and tried selling it even though you could just download it for free on Foxy's Roblox page. It's literally up there for you to download because um, Foxy open sourced it himself but people took that open source and then tried reselling it for Robux. Now this current situation is kind of starting to remind me of the simulator era you've just constant cash grab simulators which really don't seem to do shit 
but make way too many Robux for a 20 minute made game, pretty much. Not 20 minutes, but you know what I mean. Uh, there, it, it's the same thing. Little effort in trying to get something <laughs> out of it. It's, it's just annoying and it's stupid and it's repulsive. I've seen so many games that probably have data mined items and it's just annoying at this point it's not even like funny to watch anymore as much i i i like a good game as much as the next guy but i don't think that stealing um but it's just there's things that need to be done about the situation it can't just be done by foxy and talon Either way, uh, I just wanted to put some input uh, in there and inform you guys about this. Go share this video uh, if you want to read the whole thing. Discord is in the description, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys later. Peace.